Hi, I'm Brian with Ferronics Technical Support, and in this video I'll be showing you how to add users to DeepFreeze Cloud. Start by going to deepfreeze.com and log in using your registered email address. Once you have signed in, under the home page, go to the top right corner where your email address is and click on the drop down arrow. From the options, select User Management. Once you're at the User Management page, you will see a list of your current users. To add a user, simply click on the Add User button on the top left corner. Enter the name of the user and the email address. Deep Freeze Cloud allows you to limit user access to sites within Deep Freeze Cloud and actions performed within those sites. Once you click on the Permission dropdown, you will see six types of users the Super Administrator, the Administrator, the Reporting Administrator, Deep Freeze Limited Administrator, Teacher Administrator, and a Campus Affairs Administrator. For more information on the permission types, you may click on the link below. The Super Administrator has access to all sites and all actions within Deep Freeze Cloud. An administrator has access to the sites he or she has been granted access to and can perform all actions within those sites with the exception of user management. User management access can be restricted for the administrator. A reporting administrator has access to view the widgets and reports for the sites he is allowed to access and also has access to the help and support page. A deep freeze limited administrator can access widgets, their profile, help and support, deep freeze on demand, task management, and can view his or her sites. A teacher administrator has access to change their profile and has access to the handout section. A campus affairs administrator has access to managing the campus affairs in Deep Freeze Cloud. Going back to adding the user, if you would like to add a super administrator, select Super Administrator from the permissions dropdown. You can add a tag if required, and then hit OK. If you would like to add an administrator, select Administrator, and then on the right-hand side in the Sites tab, select the sites you want the user to access. In the Features tab, you can limit user management by unchecking Allow User Management and add tags if required. If you would like to add a Reporting Administrator, select Reporting Administrator. In the Sites tab, select the sites you want the user to access. You can add a tag if required. If you would like to add a Deep Freeze Limited Administrator, select Deep Freeze Limited Administrator from the Permissions dropdown. In the Sites tab, select the sites you want the user to access. In this case, I'm going to select both sites. In the Groups tab, select the groups you want the user to access for each site. If you want the user to access all groups in the site, simply check the box to the left of the site name. In the Actions tab, you can select what actions you want the user to perform on the workstations for each site. For workstation commands, you can choose between the four options listed. If you would like to select all, just select the box on the left of workstation commands. Deep freeze commands, scheduler commands, and other actions. If you want the user to perform all actions, simply select the checkbox to the left of the site name. This will automatically select all the options. You can do the same for other sites if you have more than one site selected. And then again, you can add tags. If you would like to add a Teacher Administrator, select Teacher Administrator. Select the sites you want the user to access. In the Actions tab, you can select the Workstation Commands, Deep Freeze Actions, Scheduler Actions, and Other Actions. Finally, you can add tags if required. If you would like to add a Campus Affairs Administrator, 
select Campus Affairs Administrator from the Permissions dropdown. In the Sites tab, select the sites you want the user to access. In the Actions tab, select the actions you want the user to be able to perform. And then you can add tags if required. In this example, I'm going to add an administrator. I'm going to give him access to both the sites, and I'm going to limit the Active Directory user management, and then click OK. Once a user has been added successfully, an invite email will be sent to the user's email address so that he can sign in to DeepFreeze Cloud. If you see any issues while adding a user to DeepFreeze Cloud or have any questions, please contact Veronix Technical Support. Thank you.